Okie dokie. Let's go fight the bear. I've leveled up a few times and I've upgraded each of my swords. Let's just <laughs> not for a whole episode or anything, but let's just let's just fight it once. Just like shits and giggles, see what happens. Since I'm in the area. And before see, someone's probably already said it. I do recognize that ah, I hate that move. Um, it, that, I'm sorry, but that move is just, like, I actually kind of really want to, um, like, like, review the video footage and actually see how long you have to dodge that move, because, like, look at that! There's no way, there's nothing, I don't mean to, like, like, I'd like to think that I'm pretty mellow when it comes to the Souls games, like, I, I accept a lot of deaths as my fault. Um, where are you going? But he has other... Like, his animation for quickly turning around, which, you know, I've already ranted enough about how unrealistic it is for a fucking bear to turn around that quick. But, oh my god. This just ain't right. But, the if there was any type of audio cue, any type of anything cue to tell you that he's gonna do that animation, that would be one thing. But you have no way, when he goes to turn around on you, you have no way of knowing if he's just turning to face you or if he's gonna do his uh, headbutt. I realize I said we'd do it once <laughs> just to try it but I didn't think I'd get them that low so I'm gonna give it another try <laughs> <clears throat> and I don't think I finished what I was saying but I do realize that I am aware that there's an item where he's standing but I feel like I don't have the right to pick up that item until I beat him. <laughs> okay, let's let's do a power shot as my intro. Okay. Belly slams are fine. It doesn't matter what part of him touches me. See, what... what like, that's what annoys me about it, is as you just saw, and as I pointed out before, he does have some attacks where, um, if you're not in, like, the, like, main frame of the, like, the main hit zone of the attack, it just does, like, a lighter bit of damage to you.
Oh my god. Right at the fucking end, he does the bullshit headbutt. I don't... Like, what is it with this game and bosses... Like, obviously he's not a boss boss, but... What is it with, what is it with this, this game and bosses that... Have a perfectly fine moveset except for one little bullshit fuck you. The cat that is called a dog for some reason. It's a glitch move where he just can, like, glitch his direction just as the slam's about to happen. And with this guy, it's a headbutt that he can combine with other animations so that you're, you're literally never safe. That's the problem. You're never safe because no matter where you are in facing him... You can't stay in front of him, because then you'll just get hit by every attack he does, obviously. But uh, if you stay behind him, every single time he turns, that's a chance of being fucked. Again, the slam that makes no sense. He likes to welcome me to the jam, what can I say? I didn't do nothing. And the worst... The worst part is he has a move similar to the headbutt that you actually can defend against. Where he... You can tell that he's going to do it because he turns his head to the side a little and it's a... it's. A, like a bite and that can be dodged but it's like I don't know it's like it, it seems like at any point during any of his animations no matter what he's doing he can just kind of retract his head down a little like a fucking turtle um and that just count that as it doesn't matter what else he's doing I can't do 50 animations at once I can't roll while attacking. Look. Oh, I just tried. Why couldn't I roll? I, I pressed the roll button. I Why did I roll after attacking? That didn't make no sense. But he can come. <laughs> I think I might as well hit him twice with that if he's going to fucking... Did you take a look at where his hands landed? I was he formed like a like a nice friendly tent above me. Where I was sheltered from the storm. And then I was I was so thankful for him to have sheltered me in such a loving way that didn't that didn't involve him coming into contact with me whatsoever. That I just I just killed myself out of out of thanks. That's that's what that's what you just witnessed. 
That's what just happened. Yes. I got an idea. <laughs> I got an idea. Did. Okay, that's a thing he can do, apparently. What, you don't like bullshit attacks? That's weird. You, you, you don't like cheap shots? That's so strange. You, you don't like people doing things to you that... that you have no way of defending against? Such a, that's such a strange thing. Oh yeah, do the... I mean, why not do the headbutt after all that? Yeah, he, he, it's headbutt central now. It's, it's like, it's my turn to do bullshit attacks. The worst part is that the um, bite attack does way less damage than the headbutt. Even though uh, it's easier to dodge. I gotta say it, he's just a poorly designed enemy. Like, it, there's times like these that actually I find myself glad that I'm not like, uh, like a major, like streamer or anything because, uh, you know, there's the people that think from software can do no wrong and, uh, they they think that the the bed of chaos is a misunderstood masterpiece. There is no way. No feasible way. To realistically dodge that headbutt. And you know what? If someone um eh. Be nice if I had some of those. So I could make that. Or if I could Break gem and use FP to produce a magical bolt. <clears throat> Whatever. And that, that's, I'm going to hurl my controller across the room. I swear. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I quit. Like, I'm, I'm done trying to fight him. I'll just come back when I'm overpowered and I can kill him in two hits. Because that is, I'm sorry, but that is, like, that, like, and I do think that this team is improving. I think that over the years they are improving because there's less and less bullshit. But this enemy is just one of those times that it's bullshit. Because he has a headbutt attack that he can combine with other animations 
that like when he there's no difference no discernible difference visually between him just turning just as like his regular movement and him starting the headbutt animation um and so when he does that headbutt by time he's turned around and he and and like it wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the, for the fact that he can turn on a fucking dime it, like and i know that i keep bringing up real bears and i know that he's a magic bear and he has like glyphs and shit on his chest i do understand that but the fact that he can literally do a 180 within a fucking quarter of a second means that by time you see his head scrunched back all turtle like have you have you ever seen the movie society <laughs> <laughs> that's all i'll say because <laughs> if you know you know and if you don't count yourself lucky <laughs> but like his head scrunched back into his body like that and by time you see that he's already in the lunging animation and then you throw on top of that the fact that he's got a leaping attack that if his knee, if his fucking thigh touches you during that, like the actual attack can completely miss you. And then his fucking thigh can touch you and that's like most of your health gone. And what makes me like extra furious about that is the fact that... He has attacks where, like, he has this fist pound attack where if the actual attack hits you, it does a lot of damage. But if you're just, like, kind of near it, it does a little bit of shockwave damage. And I know shockwaves are kind of like a Dark Souls meme to explain bad hitboxes. But at the end of the day, um, if you're gonna have, like shockwave like damage at least have it be like less than what the regular damage is okay and I gotta say like I said I think the team is improving greatly because out of everything I've fought in this game so far there's only two enemies that I'd classify in that bullshit way the the cat dog uh anyone else miss that show um <clears throat> that does that can just like stand up and then oh you're over to the side uh uh staying on my flank like like you're supposed to in a game like this like like the entire soul series was literally built on um, moving to the sides and, 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 and finding openings to attack. Uh, no, nah, I'm just gonna glitch like, 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 uh, like a, like, like a fucking SCP when you blink. Can't remember which number it is. But anyway, uh, did you know they, they changed that recently? Apparently, apparently there's been like a long term, like, hoopla about that where, um, the image that was originally used for that was made by some artist. Um, and when he discovered that they had used his image, he kind of, he wasn't too happy about it, but he kind of begrudgingly said, yeah, you can, you can keep using it. But eventually they, it looks like they recently accepted like kind of admitted that uh maybe Jesus Christ All right, remember when I said that there's only two bullshit things? I was leaving out the existence of spears. I I I I didn't mention that cuz that's just a given. I'm sorry but like if you if you use a spear in a Souls game, you're a, you're a fucking pussy. Like like, you're more of a pussy than people that, that use fucking magic. Because, like, what, like, 
out of all the, the the cool things you can do in a game like this, you want to stay back and poke someone with a long stick. Like, don't get near me. <laughs> You're icky. You've got cooties. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. <clears throat> But anyway, but yeah, so far, the only two, and I've explored quite a bit, the only two, like, legitimately bullshit things I've encountered, and even within that, it's only one attack from each that hits that bullshit radar. Anyway, I'm trying to get into this building, because I'm pretty sure this is... When I watched uh, Davis footage, this is where he went to, um... Was it down there that he went? Could have been. Yeah, you know, I, I don't... I don't feel like fucking with you guys. Oh, we have a we have a thing and a painting and I don't look I don't I don't have good memories of paintings in Souls games um so resurrection painting wait a minute so I got the painting but it's still there Wait a minute. I got the painting, but it's still there. How the fuck does that work? And what, is it a key item? No. Oh, I need to, I still need to keep an eye, like, check out that, um... Uh... That's where I'll, that's where I'll find a glintstone key. Okay, I need a I need to look at the map. Hold on. No, hold on. Okay, so there's Oh. Remember the dragon, the glintstone dragon that that killed me in one hit? He's guarding the key, cause I, cause that's what that is. Cause see, there's the, there's the ruins, and then there's the two islands, and then there's the little pincer-shaped thing. It's right. It's in there. It is in there. The glintstone key is in there. All right. But, but yeah, let's let's. What, what what was the painting about? So the painter. I mean, is it actually going to do anything? Don't get me wrong, not everything has to do something. Like, having just a random collectible, I can, I it's not the end of the world if it's not part of a quest or something. Oh yeah, I have nothing because I keep dying to a fucking bear. I do feel like these games, um, like as much as I complain about it, at the end of the day, I'm I'm mostly being kind of facetious. I'm not that bothered by like things like um, oversized weapons. It, it does make me sad that these games like tend to have tons of that, but very little of like. Like if you if you like oversized swords, you, you got you got your pick of the litter. But if you like scimitars, here's your fucking starting scimitar. Fuck off. Um, and I feel like some people may like try to counter that by saying that it's not the same because a scimitar is a specific type 
of short sword, like regular size sword, and whereas the large swords that I'm lumping all together tend to come in a variety of shapes and sizes. And what the fuck is this shit? What is this, a fucking flan from fucking Final Fantasy? Oh, it's a slug. It's a slug. And they got smoldery butterflies around them. Don't go rolling. Okay, let's check out this little... Little hovel. Oh! I feel like I've been here. No, nope, it's just I found one like it, because there's an item I didn't get. So, I haven't been to this one. I feel like your vision is, is kind of going, sir. Oh yeah, I gotta remember with him that he can charge up his uh, magic. And I don't know why I wasn't able to roll. What? That was weird. That was fucking weird. Like, it was like my controller, like, lost connection. Oh. Oh, shit! Lost connection for a second there. Um, because I tried rolling away from him, but, the, like, the first... And, like, I wasn't being stunlocked or anything. There wasn't anything happening. Um... And then, after I finally did roll away, I pressed square to heal. And again, I was standing i was standing still, so it wasn't like I was being blocked by another animation. And it didn't do anything until the second time I pressed it. That was weird. That was really weird. I don't, I don't like when this game's weird. And also, this is a brand, brand new controller, so it better not be fucking up on me. I'll cry. I will... You will fucking see a grown man cry. Oh, dear God, I don't want to fucking deal with one of those. I mean, at the end of the day, they're not that difficult to deal with. You just gotta stay behind them. And also, um... Oh. Look how beautiful that is. That is just lovely. Then you just got random green head down there fucking... Rolling along. Anyway, I'm trying to get down and around. Because I think this is where the, uh... And I don't even know if it's going to matter because uh, I haven't watched his second stream at all. So after he gets done with that, he could very well continue on to other stuff that I haven't seen. What the fuck? Just a random fucking troll. Just like, yeah, I'm I'm blocking this. I'm 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 guarding this 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 nipple in the ground. What of it? It's not even a. Oh, that's not a troll. That's one of them um. Big armor things. I'm, 
much. And they're always da they're always partially damaged. Oh, you do a lot to his foot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Sure, I'm at a angle where he's not gonna outstep it. Now I get that it would make it harder if it did. Well, I'm surprised that none of those attacks, like, send out, like, waves of rocks that can hit me. Um, okay, only reason I got close to you is I thought that I was gonna be, I was, I thought, uh, look, I thought I was gonna be able to do a visceral attack. Like, that's, that, that's why I closed the gap. And, and, and I turned out to be wrong, which is fine. Something. The guys, they did anybody happen to notice the door opening for me? Inviting me in. Angel. That is the the I I see spiders. I see spiders. I'm just I don't. I don't really think I... I... I don't really have the mental capacity... To... 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 Deal with that... Scenario... And I'm on a mission... Alright? 
Okay, thankfully, even though I rested, that's that's a one and done enemy. Would not be I would not be a happy man if it was not a one and done enemy. Blue flowers. Aha. Thank you. Gotta remember the um the silver ones are the ones that are the real money bags. The, the blue ones and the um, uh, red ones just restore some flask. Which, like, is nice, but I've yet to come across one at a time when I wasn't already either at full flask or, like, in a situation where I really did not need that kind of help. O celestial globe transmit to posterity the wisdom of the moon and the stars and obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. What did the princess do? How did she how did she transgrease? Yeah, I'm I'm a little one thing I'm really disappointed by, it's not a big deal, but I'm disappointed that you can't talk to I can't even remember her name because it's been so long um, since I've actually interacted with her. But the the maiden lady with with the eye closed, because um, in that like that one time when I sat down after meeting her and it gave me a chance to talk to her, like it gave me the option. I thought like I, I was really excited about that because I thought that like that was going to be an option at every rest site and like it was going to be like a bonding thing, like you you get to. Like, she'd teach you some stuff about the land and, like, you know, maybe learn more about who she is and, like, like, lore, lordy, lore, lore. But something fits on the pedestal. My fat ass. You see, see, jokes like that, that, that jokes like that wouldn't be, um, although to be fair, it would have been perhaps just a little bit better if I had jumped and then did the, uh, the rest. I fit on the pedestal, but jokes like that would not be possible if it weren't for a jump button, so... There you go. <laughs> I'm regretting my actions. I said I said that 
not because on any level I I realized that it was a bottomless pit. <clears throat> I thought it was like a lake area that I could land on. Um, and I said that. I, I really wish there was a way to like look at your your um runes on the map and just find out how many they are so you can just gauge if you want to grab them or not Those are hands. I just... I want it... I want it known. Okay. First... Thing... Is first. Alright. I'm pretty sure there's more flowers than there were before. Okay. First things first. I am going to travel back to no. no oh there it is um there it is and I'm gonna buy some arrows because I'm I'm low I'm low seeing that big open area, because I thought that meant, okay, I just found a secret boss. Great. And the timing of me, like, making that jump and then have I found any no, I've not. I, I need to find four. Shit. Wait. Well, you'll... What can Perhaps we talk about? You don't need to hear this. See that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying. We lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy. No regard. Nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are. Deeply unforgiving. That 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 is perfectly fine. I would expect no less. Okie dokie. Alright then. Now, we can go back. You know, I wonder how big this game is because I'm pretty sure that when I started the map wasn't this vertical. Like, I'm pretty sure that the map was like, like a square. And so I'm thinking like as you uncover new lands the actual outskirts of the map does extend. But anyway. Let's go to the study hall. <clears throat> and I think that the study hall I could be wrong. No, no, it's not. I was going to say, I think the study hall is like the first like area that I've seen in a loading screen and I'm now seeing in game because I've seen that globe. But I do believe that I've also seen um, the round table thing in a few uh, loading screens as well. Oh, so this is just... Okay. I, I see them hands. Uh... 
let's fight a melee to get an idea of what they even are able to... Alright, they don't seem... They don't seem too dangerous. What the... Fuck a duck? Okay. I think this one will just fall into the pit. Yeah. Hmm. Some free uh, stuff. But yeah, the hands, I'm guessing, are like one of those types of enemies that... They're kind of like the gargoyles. In that, um, well, what, what, what's happening? Did you not like me breaking your bookshelf? Lordy. You are a very angry, angry person. You're, 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 I'll admit you are perceptive. Oh, so this is this is gonna be like that um, crystal sage in the third game where you do a little damage and then you you make your way towards where it is. You know, it's it's good to learn things. I, I took a chance there because I wanted to learn. You know, you don't learn without taking chances. I wanted to learn if the arrow had tracking and if it had a level of tracking that I could sidestep it. It does not have... It, it, I mean, it, 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 it does and then does not. It does to the first question, but it does not to the second question. So I will have to dodge roll. And, see, it's better to learn answers to those questions early on in a level, rather than, you know, much later. I still think... I really, I really don't think the suspension of disbelief would be damaged that much if, like, once you've activated a lift the first time and the game knows that you can access it, if it would just, like, have you be able to... that I think this game has headshots
And they are getting better at the, um, at the hitboxes of, like, it, like, thing, your arrows getting caught on just, like, random gaps in geometry. So that's, that's nice. Oh, you, you have multiples of those that you can summon. That's good to know. Dig Nibbit. Oh, she's coming. Oh, that was not within range. That, that was... That... I'm pretty sure when I, when I first took a... When I took a, a, a glancey gander, when I took a gandery glance at you, you were closer to the, um... I think maybe... Bum rushing is gonna be the answer here, cause like... Like, if I can get enough hits in to get her to, to, like, transport to her next location, then I got some breathing room. That's what I did when I ran up the stairs that first time. I was able to get her to run away to the next section. Um, uh, the enemies could get up. Now I just gotta make sure I know where she is after each transport so that I don't get caught off by her. I need you to come down here so I can fight you. Check over here, see if there's anything I missed. 
does not seem to be. playing games now. Okay, I'm sorry, but that... That is... Oh, God, does it count as bullshit? Do we, do we add it? Do we add it to the bullshit meter? Because it does, it would be nice to get a nice around three on the bullshit meter. But, like, her being able to teleport and still be in the middle of her um, uh, arrow, magic arrow animation, so that when she arrives at her teleportation, She's just, like, as she arrives, she's already shooting off the arrow. Like, for that to count as bullshit, like, yeah, it catches you off the first time, but I, like, I've already made it clear that I don't think that, um, I don't agree with the notion that every single thing in every single Souls game should be, like, like, reliably dodged the very first time you ever encounter it. So, I think that it could be dodged like now that I know that she can do it I need to be cognizant of that. But anyway we'll continue the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.